hello viewers in this video i will show you how to enable data layer for shopify store before enabling data layer for this store let's see if we already enable the data layer or not okay to check this we have to go to the preview of our gtm web container so this is my gtm web container and if i click the preview button here If I click the preview button here, you can see we are not getting any event related to data layer. If I view a product, let's see uh, this one. Okay, I have viewed this product. So that's mean there should be an view item event uh, appear here. But here you can see we are not getting any view item event here. Even if I click add to cut button. Here you can see no data layer event post here. So let's see how we can enable the data layer for this store by using some custom code uh, and installing all the code on the Shopify store. Let's see how we can implement this. Okay. To do this, we have to copy the checkout paste code. Like here you can see I have added this one here copy and paste the value checkout page data layer code and add this code on the additional skip box of our shopify checkout page okay and uh, before adding this code we have to make sure that we have replaced the gtm code here so we have to add our gtm own we have to add our own gtm code like this one we have to add here we have to add this here copy and paste okay so let's copy this first i am copying this one then we have to go to the settings and find out the checkout page so this is the checkout page of this store and scroll down and then here you can see the additional script box okay so we have to paste the checkout page code here just copy and paste this and now we have to change our gtm code here so we have to add our own gtm code so this is my gtm code so now i have to replace this gtm code here okay after that just we have to click save okay the step number two we have to copy another code from the documents here you can see if i scroll down and here you can see now we have to add a new code snippet with this same name we have to make sure that we are using this name exactly okay so we have to copy this premium data layer just copy this and now we have to go to the online store section and find out the edit code and add a new snippet so I'm closing this and now here you can see the sales channels click on online stores then now we have to click three dot and again click edit code and from the left side if you scroll down here you can see the snippets snippet section click here now we have to add a new snippet here just click on add new snippet then copy the name and paste it here premium data layer and uh, exactly we have to paste it here okay so click done then we will get a box here to paste our code so we have to paste the premium data layer code here so just click copy and go back again here and paste the data layer code here okay after pasting here we have to click save make sure you are saving this just click save okay now the third step we have to scroll down these documents and here you can see a code very short code we have to add this uh 
here you can see now we have to add a short code in the theme dot liquid file before closing the head tag i mean we have to add this short code premium data layer short code just copy this and go back to our shopify uh, edit code section here you can see the theme dot liquid file now we have to find out the closing head tag if you don't know how to find out this closing head tag just click command or control f then uh, type like this or type head like this okay so here you can see the starting head tag and if we scroll down here you can see we will find the closing head tag so now we have to add the short code here before closing so this one closing tag and before closing the head tag okay so i'm pasting this here and after that we have to make sure uh, to save this change okay let's click save and before doing this we have to make sure that our google tag manager already connected with our shopify store and i think you already know how to connect this google tag manager with shopify store it's very easy just click here and copy the code and go to the theme.liquid file and uh, after the starting head tag we have to paste the gtm code here then click save that's it okay now we have uh, successfully added all the code on our shopify store now let's see if our uh, gtm can detect the data layer code on our store so we have to click preview again and connect with our store and let's see on the left side if we have a data layer like view item add to card and uh, others event because so here you can see i have connected the store with the gtm now if we uh, view a item So here you can see a view item data layer event pushed here so that's mean uh, we have successfully enabled the data layer for this store and here you can see the structure of this data layer uh, very uh, clean very clean data layer structure for this uh, store and it's uh, following the GA4 schema properly so now let's see if uh, we got uh, add to card or others event here okay so let's click add to card button now we should get an another event here add to card like here you can see add to card event fired and also if we click checkout we will get another option begin checkout and this is a uh, very premium things for shopify because shopify doesn't allow to track checkout page without the shopify plus subscription but if you use this code this data layer code we can track begin checkout as well without shopify plus subscription okay so here you can see begin checkout event fired and uh, it's a very uh, nice uh, data layer structure and if we purchase this product we will get the purchase event as well here okay so if you want to download this full code and instruction of this uh, code implementation i will share this link to my video description also i will publish this on my on buy me a coffee page so from here you can download this guideline very easily and also if you need any guideline to enable the data layer for your store i can help you and also if you want to hire me for your shopify store data layer enable or conversion tracking you can contact me via whatsapp or you can message me on my upwork or fiverr i will we replace your message as soon as possible.